We're just on our way to go duck hunting. First time we went to this new spot, we got some ducks, and so we went the next two days in a row, and by the third day, we kind of got it figured out, and we ended up getting three ducks, or uh, seven ducks, I mean. Um, so we're gonna go back there and keep going there, as long as we keep shooting ducks. We've been getting lots of tail. We got one mallard, but he was kind of out of the out of the normal for where we're going. Uh, teal are a little smaller, but they're still fun to shoot. We got a little homemade blind we made. We're gonna be setting up out of burlap and PVC pipe. It's pretty ghetto, but it works. It gets the job done. And uh, set a bunch of decoys out in front of us. And usually, what's been happening is a group of teal will come come in. And as long as we don't move at all, they'll land in our decoys decoys or they're just about to land and then we pop up out of our blind and, and try to shoot them. We got tired of our hands getting cold so Ken just got me for Christmas this little Zippo hand warmer and if you look in there you can actually see little red embers from where it's burning. These things are supposed to work uh, a lot better and I can, yeah, I can already feel it's pretty warm. I just lit it not too long ago and um, they're supposed to last for like six and a half hours so we're gonna see how this thing does today but so far I'm liking it. As soon as we got our decoys put out ducks started coming in. Here's a little till that was the first of many to come in before shooting hours so all we had to do now was wait for it to get light enough to shoot. <laughs> not long after shooting light a few till came in and landed right in our decoys. It's hard to see in this video, but we knocked one down, and then the second one we just wounded, and it flew a ways out before it landed in the water. So we kind of were thinking about a game plan for how we were going to go out and uh, finish it off and retrieve it. Then the craziest thing happened is uh, this bald eagle must have been watching us or was just close by and saw what happened, and it thought it was going to come in and clean up for an easy meal. So uh, it would come and sweep, swoop by on this duck, but the duck still was with it enough that it would dive underwater whenever the eagle would get close. And uh, then pretty soon the eagle, he started coming in really, really low against the water. I've never seen an eagle fly so low. And then he'd try to sneak up on the duck really fast and, and get it. But um, luckily the duck so far had been able to dodge him every time and he still kept dodging him. And, and uh, it was at this point that we figured we better go get the duck and it was now or never before the eagle wears him down and, and grabs him. We wanna make sure the eagle works for his meals and doesn't just get a, a cheap, easy one. Um, but the eagle comes in one more time and then we decided we need to take action and go finish that duck off and, and retrieve him. So here I just finished the duck off and I was going out to grab him. Deal. We'll take it. <sighs> Don't know a ton about calling ducks, but I made these little homemade duck calls out of elk antler. Then uh, I just bought the inserts and it seems to be working okay. I can't necessarily say we've called one in directly because we're calling, but when they're swimming close, we don't scare them off when we start calling so I think that's a good sign but yeah just turned this on the lathe out of elk antler and uh, added the little metal ring and the the insert um, from echo calls and it's been working pretty good it wasn't long before another group of teal came in again it's hard to see in the video but we knocked two of them down Sitting there waiting for the next group of ducks, this grebe came swimming by, which isn't legal to shoot in Utah or anywhere, I believe. So we just had to sit there and watch them and enjoy the experience. Unfortunately, after this, our GoPro died. Those are the four teal that we got, but then after the camera died, 
these three mergansers swam right right in front of our decoys just swam right into us so we jumped up and uh, we were able to get all three of them we've uh, since found out that apparently they're not the best for eating so we probably would have should have probably should have let them go but we're gonna do what what we can with what we got and yep there's our ducks for the day it's a pretty good day we got seven all right we're just about to take off and it looks like i have a hole in my waders Either that or I peed my pants pretty bad. Um, but this little hand warmer from Zippo, um, I had to restart it one time. But for the most part, it's, it's been doing good. I definitely like it better than those um, little hand warmers where you have to shake them. And they got that black powdery stuff inside. Um, and I added a little bit more fuel to it and it's, it's still really warm right now. So I, I'm definitely gonna be using this thing from, from here on out because my hands were not cold at all. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions just leave a comment below.